Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Geraint Lewis. I've been away for a while. Um, obviously because I've been very, very busy in life and uh, yeah, a lot has been going on now. Um, this video, compared to what I usually do, is going to be slightly different. Now, I was going to produce this video earlier this week, but I was off with COVID. So, what, I did, what I'm planning to do today is going to take you back in time because um, nearly two weeks ago I attended Wales Comic Con Telford Takeover, which is my 10th Comic Con. So, today, what I'm going to do is like explain who I've met and stuff like that over the past the past two years since like 2018 actually no made that three years yeah three years 2018 and we're in 2022 now um i mean i haven't made any audio or physical appearances but most of this is going to be a majority of an audio video because i'll be explaining it in commentary but there will be some pictures though but i don't happen to have any video uh video con uh, video footage sorry but there may be something, I might have two of my favourite video coverages from one of my Comic Cons I attended in the past. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and jump in as I take you back in time for the inside history of my Comic Con legacy. Let's go. This is where it all began on the 20th of April 2018 in Rex and Lindu University. That's right, Wales Comic Con. That was my first ever convention. I had the thoughts of going to Comic Con for a while, but the very first time I went, I kind of felt a little bit unconfident of what to do since it was my first time going. But you'll see in later conventions that I gain more experience, but all I felt comfortable about was obviously having a look around the place, see how I feel if I fancy going to one again in the future. Um, but let's not focus on that yet. We'll talk about what we did on the 20th of April of that day, 2018, Wales Comic Con, Rex and, Rex and Glindo University. Yes, that's exactly what we're going to do. So, um, it was in Wrexham, which was my local area where they do, um, Comic Cons, but it wasn't, it's not anymore though, they moved to Telford as of, um, as of Christmas of 2019, but, uh, we're talking about the days back then, but, um, what I'm talking about here, I've obviously met one guest to begin with. The first guest, um, guests I'm, the first, sorry, the first guest I met in, um, a Comic Con was Amy Jo Johnson of the Power Rangers. She played Kimberly Hart, the Pink Ranger of the series. Um, I had other thoughts of meeting other guests too, but um, I thought I'd kick off by only meeting one guest to begin with, see how conf confident I feel for a future convention. And as you can see, I had a picture alongside um, the Pink Ranger, and you can also see her autograph as well on this shot right there. I also had a picture with um, in a Star Wars set with three of the dro with four droids, myself holding a lightsaber and R two D two, and um, of course two other the two other Star Wars characters. Um, Bebo, I believe, was one of them, but I've not seen the modern Star Wars one. But I'll be happy to take a look at the um, next three on um, Disney Plus, which is episode seven to nine. I've only seen one to six. Um, no spoilers, please, because I need to try and find them out for myself. <laughs> and uh, asking you kindly, thanks. Next chapter. Following my um, enjoyment from the April Comic Con in 2018, I went back there again on the 1st of December 2018, just 24 days before Christmas. Um, same place, Wrexham University. This time around I met a different guest, but it was from the same franchise as the previous one, Power Rangers of course, but this time around I met the likes of Austin St. John, the Red Power Ranger, yes! The first ever Red Ranger of the whole Power Rangers franchise. Did you know that it's going to be turning 30 years old next year? I bet some of you Power Rangers enthusiasts do. Those who, are, who haven't seen it, then you're the first to know this because it first aired on the 28th of August 1993. So, um, this time around, when I had my autograph, uh, a photo with Austin, Austin St. John, I actually held one of the um, those Power Morphers, as you can see right here. Um, because, um, obviously, I had one of them for Christmas that year, but a, a cosplayer who played a Power Ranger actually lent one to me exclusively for the photo op. As you can also see, you can see his autograph there as well. Now, this is where the confidence building begins when it comes to Comic Cons. 
Not only did I get some with guests, but um, ones I booked, I also got some of a couple cosplayers. I've got a series of them right here. As you can see right here, obviously, we got like six cosplay pictures. Um, me with one of the Wicked Witch of the West from uh, the Wizard of Oz, also a friend of mine from school from a few years ago, from a few years ago, almost a decade actually. I got a chance to see the um, Star Wars droids again. One of them is omitted from a previous convention, you can see R2-D2 and Bebo is still there, but I still have no idea of a third droid. And you can see a human Dalek cosplayer, but... <laughs> have, you, have you guys noticed that that cosplayer of the, who played a Dalek has arms? That's just bizarre, man! I have no idea what to say about that. Also, we have one of two Harley Quinns, two of them I follow from Instagram, Twiller and... Uh, to Twiller cosplay and Gotham's Candy. They are both um, cosplayers I know on Instagram. I follow them on as well. And also my first encounter with um, Lil Bo cosplay right here. Dressed as the unicorn as you can see right here. You'll see her in later conventions but I won't reveal them yet. You'll see them when I get to those parts in this video. Finally, two of the Power Rangers outside in Wrexham there. The Green Ranger and the Yellow Ranger. Um, yeah, that's... Um, that's our um, cosplay pictures. We got six of them in this one, as I said. And that was the Wrexham Comic Con, right here, of 2018. Moving on now, chapter three, we move straight on to 2019, which is even next year in my Comic Con inside story. This time around, I ditched Wrexham uh, to um, attend my first convention in Liverpool, my first, um, my first visit to the Exhibition Centre overall, it legit was one of the best weekends of my life. Now the reason I'm saying weekend, there's a bit of a twist on this one. I'm spending two days in the Exhibition Centre for that Comic Con because I met a record-breaking 14 Power Rangers guests. Now before we get into any of this, I just want to let you know I had over 300 quid in Christmas money. Um, for Christmas of 2018, so I can like spend them on those com on those Power Rangers guests on that Comic Con, and you know what I did because and I looked on Facebook over time. Wow, the the guest numbers were sky high. 16, no, 14 Power Rangers guests were there. I was like literally over the moon when I found out there was going to be announcements every night at 7 p.m. that that week. But anyway, um, moving on now, we uh, stayed in the um, Stallbridge Guest House in Liverpool so we could like get somewhere to sleep for the weekend because who would want to sleep on the streets anyway? <laughs> I wouldn't anyway. But anyway, um, we uh, when we got there, um, I got straight in there meeting the guests ahead so I don't get, don't feel so disappointed upon um, going there because it's my weekend clearly and it was also my pride of joy so <clears throat> Going on ahead now, enough of my rambling, uh... So the guests I met for that one, we'll go on to the Saturday first, and then we'll move on to the Sunday because it'll be all different, but the, um, continuity in pictures won't matter though. It's completely my video anyway. So the guests I met, in that order I'll explain first, was, um... First off, I met the yellow Super Mega Force Ranger, Ciara Hanna. Um, as you can see, I had her autograph and photo up of her. As you can see, I was holding one of the Ranger keys, which resembled the, um, what was being used in Power Ranger Super Mega Force during its airing. Now, I know I'm going ahead of me, but on the Sunday, I had a selfie with her, as you can see here. So I had three related bits of media from Ciara anyway. Next off, I met Jason Fort, the uh, red Time Force Ranger. I had his autograph right here, as you can see. But we'll show off a photo op later because, spoiler alert, it's going to be a duo because um, some photos I did for duos because um, I wouldn't want to blow too much money if I did that anyway. Next off, um, we met Zoe Robbins, the white Ninja Steel Ranger. Now, the pink Ninja Steel Ranger, Christiane Lopez, was initially going to attend, but she couldn't because at the time she was pregnant. I mean, who would want to go to a Comic-Con when they're pregnant anyway? <laughs> Not safe, dude. Anyway, um, next off I met the Yellow Turbo Ranger, later Yellow Space Ranger, Tracy Lynn Cruz. Again, as you can see, I have her photo and auto. I had the pleasure in holding the helmets, as you can see right here. Never happened to me before when having a photo op. Next up, I met the Blue Turbo Ranger, Blake Foster. He was a child when he played, uh, he may have been a child when he played um, Justin Stewart, but hey, he's aged a lot 
in over the years anyway. Man, a big man, I see there. Next up, I met Steve Cardenas, the uh, second Red Ranger in command, later to be Zeo Ranger 3 Blue in Power Rangers Zeo. I, as you can see, I have my own Morpher now. The one I had for Christmas of 2018, as you can, um, as I said earlier in this video. But wow, I wouldn't need to borrow another Morpher anymore, no. That's um, one thing that I can say though, to say the least. And yes, as you can see here, we have Jason Font, the Red Time Force Ranger, obviously, with a photo, a photo op alongside Michael Copon, the Blue Time Force Ranger. Thought I'd have a duo because I thought it'd be good enough for me so I could have like pictures of two Rangers in the same season. Onto the cosplay pictures of the Saturday, as you can see right here, I took a picture of three of the Power Rangers, Green Ranger, White Ranger, and Zeo Ranger 3 Blue. I can't specify their names because they obviously were in their jumpsuits anyway, or in spandex, more preferably. Next up we have, this may not count as a cosplay, but you can see all this Power Rangers replica, as you can see right here from the likes of all those awesome creators that they sell in Comic Con and stuff like that. But they're only for sale though, sorry to say, or sorry to burst your bubble, sorry to burst your bubble. And here we are with one of the Daleks in um, the Liverpool Exhibition Centre right here, the gold one to kick off with. And as you can see, I had a picture with the Power Rangers themselves, but they are known as PRUK, a cosplay company who attend Comic Cons very, very occasionally. Maybe a rare occasion to see a couple of those rangers, but hey, what do you know? A surprise is a surprise. And as you can see, we have the Black Dalek, Dalek Sec in the Doctor Who franchise. He also attended that too. Followed by, as you can see here, Poison Ivy, Catwoman, and Harley Quinn. Three cosplayers, as noted, as you can see right here in the exhibition center. They look real cool when they're dressed up, I'll tell you that. And right here, the Ironside Dalek, as you can see here, he was offering jelly babies. This gave me a brilliant opportunity to uh, record a bit of footage where I would toy with him. For fun, that is. Let's roll a clip. I don't... I don't... <laughs> oh my god. I, I don't think I've seen a TARDIS around here. <laughs> oh god, what would the Cult of Scarrow even say? I'm talking the uh, Dalek Sec, Dalek Bay, Dalek Jast, and Dalek Khan. Uh, I don't know. I've uh, Peter Capaldi, Jody Whittaker, Matt Smith. <laughs> What do you want to do? Exterminate her? Definitely. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. <laughs> well. Oh god. Oh my good lord. Yes, that was one of my best moments of that weekend in Liverpool. But wait, it gets even better. Moving on to day two, but on the same chapter, which is chapter three of my Comic Con um, uh, inside story. We are now focusing on the guests I met on th on the Sunday. So for the Sunday, I kicked off again with the same uh, same uh, routine of meeting the guests before to avoid disappointment. And uh, the first guest I met of the day was Nico Gleeson, the Yellow Ninja Steel Ranger. Yeah, I well I should have explained when I had my photo with um, the White Ninja Steel Ranger actress. I um, had the. Uh, Ninja Seal Morpher with me, uh, which I purchased myself a few years ago, but was back in 2017, I believe, in Chester. Oh man, I should have opened up about that, but oh well. Once you, what you said is done, is done. But anyway, next guest now, Jeff Parazu, who played Trent, the white Dino Thunder Ranger. Um, that's right, um, him. I'm, as you can see on the autograph, it's the only autograph to date not to have my name on it. Probably because, um, some guests won't have to ask for their name because they may be a little bit in a bit of a rush, but I wouldn't be too sure about that, no. But anyway, Paul Schreier and Jason Narvey, the next two guests I met there, Paul, Bulk and Skull, 
again, as you can see, I had a duo photo of them, but I didn't get their autograph. I might have to get an autograph from them in the future, so I'll have to keep my eyes out on Facebook momentarily for when certain guests get announced on there in selected Comic Cons. Next one, as you can see here, Selwyn Ward, who played the Red Tower Ranger, later to be the Blue Space Ranger. He was the first African-American Power Ranger to become the leader, apparently, as you can see here. The next one we're looking at now is Kevin Duaney, the Blue Dino Thunder Ranger. I had the privilege to hold on to the helmet, just as I did with the White Dino Thunder Ranger and the Red Turbo Ranger. Should have opened up about that too, but oh well, I guess when you're working, you just get a bit carried away with what you're doing there. You're just having fun, you know. And finally, we met the um, met the Black Megaforce Ranger, Azim Risk, who would later be the Green Super Megaforce Ranger. Again, um, I should have opened about that. I had. Um, Again, I held on to one of the Ranger Keys, which represent the, um, what was in the show, and uh, as you can see, he was, uh, Azim was dressed up in the black Megaforce outfit. I should have opened up about this, but Megaforce and Super Megaforce were in the same continuity in season-wise, but, um, obviously it's one season in, in the sequence, that is. And now, moving on to the cosplay pictures, as you can see, I had a picture, I got a picture of a male Jodie Whittaker cosplayer and an Amy Pond cosplayer with the Ironside Dalek. Shortly afterwards, I had the um, idea to toy around with it again. Eat, sleep, exterminate, repeat. <laughs> Eat, sleep, exterminate, repeat. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> yes, that was rather funny. Chapter 4, and wow, was this a big one for me. 27th of July 2019, just 27 days after my 21st birthday, I took a, a stunning trip to London because I thought it would be, whoa, a late birthday um, surprise for me because I have dreamed of going to London again after twice. And then it all came true on the 27th of July that year in 2019. Now, for the very first time, I must let you know that I did do cosplay, and I dressed up as Matt Smith. You'll see the cosplay in a moment, but um, I just want to explain to you what it's like in the Olympia in London. It's such a beautiful exhibition. It's so big, it's got lots of, um, well, you know, I've not been there in a long time, but I know how beautiful it is on the inside. I have always felt like a dream place for me to visit in the future. I'd love to visit again, but I might consider doing it in a few years' time. Now, um, enough of my rambling, let's just go on with the guests I met and the cosplay photos, starting off, 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 uh, starting us off as per usual with the guests I met. So, kicking off in London, I um, first off met, um, this time, not, not Power Rangers guests, because obviously none attended, uh, I actually met Doctor Who guests instead. First off, I met Jenna Coleman. That's right, she played Clara Oswald in Doctor Who, and she also played Queen Victoria in the self-named TV show that, sh that aired on ITV um, a couple of years ago. That's right. And you can see here, I got my 11th Doctor outfit, because I thought I dressed up as, as the 11th Doctor, because I thought it would fall in the correct style of context, because Clara Oswald obviously had the 11th Doctor, Matt Smith, and his companion. Later to be Peter Capaldi as the 12th Doctors. Followed next by um, Colin Baker, who was the 6th Doctor from 1984 to 1986. I had my sonic screwdriver out, but can you tell by the look on his face? He was like, what? He's the Doctor? But there's only one Doctor! <laughs> I must say, that is probably one of the best reactions I've seen yet when it comes to a Doctor cosplay and, and having a photo of a Doctor. <clears throat> anyway, next up, we have the one of the iconic Doctors, Sylvester McCoy, who ran as the Doctor from 1987 up to 1989. Mm, those were the guests that I met, those were Doctor Who ones. Because of this, before we go on to the cosplay pictures, I thought I'd explain to you why I, why I did if I was to meet the Doctors. I ran a Doctor Who Mega Marathon, watched 61 episodes based on them that day in Liverpool, uh, for, for London, so um, I'll explain more of those mega marathons later in the future for ones that I did for the second and third, so um, don't mind what 
I said there, just pretend he didn't hear anything. But I'm just, we'll just save the excitement for, the la for later on in the video, okay? Moving on to the cosplayers now. No need, let's not hold up the train of, um, the train of, um, of persistence and anxiety for, for cosplay pictures. So as you can see here, I saw PR UK again um, in London, but um, I didn't get a picture with them this time. I just took a picture of them. Um, and then next up, you can see I um, went a bit higher. Instead of just getting pictures of cosplayers, I thought I'd jump in on them. So instead, I took selfies. As you can see, I have a metal selfie stick right there. And the first off, I had, um, I think there were pandas that had um, <coughs> cosplay um, outfit on. Followed next by the um, Jodie Whittaker cosplayer right there. Followed by a, um, I think, Catwoman cosplay, but I can't, rem I can't fondly remember who that is. And also next one with um, somewhat of half pink, half white hair dye. I don't know what cosplay that is, but I, and it, regardless of what you know and what you don't know of what cosplay is, you just like the look of it. Let's go with that. Followed next by a Harley Quinn, again from Suicide Squad. We see a lot more Suicide Squad Harley Quinns these days, don't we? Next up, we have the um, Supergirl cosplay right there. Looking pretty stunning there, ha. Huh? I must say so myself. Followed next by some uh, cat mask cosplay, saying senpai, let's not go anywhere near the COVID pandemic, no. Because that, I mean, that, that was in some kind of context in there, if you get what I mean. Next up, we have another Jodie Whittaker cosplayer right here, and followed by two Jodie Whittaker cosplayers, followed by another cosplayer right there. And we have another cosplayer right here, but with uh, some red shirt and some writing. Can't remember what the um, writing was, to be completely honest, though. Next up, we have the Ariel cosplay from the Little Mermaid Disney classic. Should have told you I'm into Disney films now. Uh, followed by a couple cosplayers from the anime series My Hero Academia. Ooh. I have not seen My Hero Academia in a long time, but I think I might need to again. I used to, re to react to anime on a blog, but I retired. Um, as of last year. Followed next by a Bo Peep cosplayer from Toy Story 4. I believe that was a cosplay guest who, I guess, but I, I sadly forgot the name. But I could take a look on the internet again at some point and I can try and like get it back to me and I might mention it in the comments section. And followed by Adventure Time's Finn. Does anybody else miss Adventure Time? Because I heard a lot of people do, honestly. Great show it was. Followed by a couple Star Wars cosplayers. Now, funny story, when I got to that one, I accidentally attacked someone with my selfie stick. <laughs> How much of a dope I can be when it comes to watching where I'm going. Followed next by some pink-haired cosplayer, but I'm not sure if it was actually a cosplay or not. But again, regardless of what it is, it looks good on them. And then last off, I got—I didn't get it in the um, cosplay in the Comic Con itself. I did it on the train. La uh, train. Someone dressed as Diva from on Overwatch, also a Facebook friend of mine, as you know, Chloe Morby. That's who it is. So um, that was my biggest adventure in London, and that's all the conventions we have for 2019. Twenty twenty may have been a very difficult year for a lot of people because of what's been going on in the world, but we only had I only had one Comic Con to go to that year. That was just a few weeks before the first lockdown. Chapter five is the Comic Con Liverpool. I visit again in the Liverpool Exhibition Centre. I'll have you know, note to self, there's my second time visiting the place. Yes, just before lockdown, I mean, I managed to get to one Comic Con because I did have a couple more booked, which was for Telford. But that didn't get carried out due to the pandemic. Coronavirus was one of the toughest things we've had to face yet. Um, and like I said, I have been off of it as of a week ago, but I'm okay now. I'm no longer contagious, but we'll get to the positive side of 2020, which is how I went to the Comic Con in Liverpool. So, I'll have you guys know, um, again, I'll let you know who I met first, then followed by the cosplay pictures. Because, um, before we continue, I upgraded from just using my iPod to using an Akaso, which will give you stunning 4K quality. There's a reason why this video is in 4K, because of that, obviously. <laughs> you get that. So, moving on now, for the guests I met, I only decided to meet one guest, and that would be back to my roots of Power Rangers again, where I met one of the legendary Power Rangers actors, Jason David Frank. Jason David Frank is said to be one of the most iconic Power Rangers actors in history and a fan favourite. He came as the Green Ranger, followed by Zero Ranger 5 Red. No, 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 sorry, sorry. 
he came as the Green Ranger, followed by the White Ranger, followed by Zero Ranger 5 Red, then the um, Red Turbo Ranger, and the Black Dino Thunder Ranger. And they also had a role in the comics as Lord Draken, an evil version of Tommy Oliver. As you can see, I have his autograph and photo op. Not only that, we had a free picture together. Also, um, I made a shirt, as you can see right here, of all the Tommies that ever existed in Power Rangers history. He even put it on his Instagram stories, and um, I was left so speechless in a very positive way. The person who was with me that day actually nearly felt so emotional thinking about it, and she nearly cried in a very, very positive way. Man, I must say, talk about, um, you know. But moving on now to the, com the cosplay pictures, um, as you can see here, I have a picture of the TARDIS right here, which may not count as cosplay. I have a picture with the Ironside Dalek, but I didn't tell you them this time. I was only doing it, yes, that, uh, in 2019 for kicks, because i seen a couple of videos on YouTube where they like, you know, Dalek shooting C2O out of their guns. Anyway, um, moving on now to the cosplay pictures again, as I said earlier. We have a picture right here of um, a couple anime cosplays. The Ice Queen, a Harley Quinn. I'm not sure if that's a Harley Quinn or not, but I think we'll count it as a Harley Quinn anyway. And I think a Naruto, if I'm uh, not too sure myself. We have got Encounters with Power Rangers right here, as you can see of the next three pictures down on the bottom of the screen, yeah. And uh, also, my third encounter with PR UK again! And also, um, next page now, we've got more cosplayers right here. One with pink hair, and I don't know if I can make out the other ones because, again, if you know them or not, regardless of how good it looks, you've got to have a picture of them. Also, Harley Quinn from uh, Bird of Prey. I've not seen it yet, but I'd really love to. But um, Harley Quinn's are one of my favorite cosplay looks. I even met up with Lil Bo again for a second time. This time around she was dressed up as Eleven from uh, Stranger Things. One I need to binge watch on Netflix at some point, but I might do that one day. Also we have um, a cosplayer I, I follow on Instagram. And uh, yeah, um, what kind of cosplayer, uh, cosplayer was that? I might need to have a good look on that. I know if I follow the name. But I try to remember somehow. Sorry, it's been so long since I've seen some of them. But the next one, make no mistake, dressed up as Jessica Rabbit is um, one I definitely know. Rainbow Raindrop cosplay right there that I follow on Instagram. Man, that must be a real cool reputation for who you follow on the internet, huh? Then next off, we have Hagrid cosplayer from uh, Harry Potter. Um, yeah, he became uh, Harry's mentor when it comes to guiding him to Hogwarts, and then followed by one dressed up as Cinderella from the 1950 Disney film Cinderella. Good film, that. And also, finally, for cosplay pictures, we have Captain Jack Sparrow from the Pirates of the Caribbean film series. And there you have it. That was my only convention of 2020, and I'll put on an image right here. As you can see, I'm stood next to the Comic-Con Liverpool logo in the Exhibition Centre. And then, that was my only convention of 2020, and then due to the coronavirus outbreak, all of our Comic Cons were silenced for the time being. Oh. I know, crowd. That kind of sucked. Sixteen months after the first lockdown, it's time to get back to Comic Cons again when things started reopening in 2021. Thus entering Chapter 6, which was Liverpool Anime and Gaming Con in the Liverpool Adelphi Hotel. Such a beautiful hotel it is. I personally never visited it um, before that day, but um, I had the thought of going into the Anime and Gaming Con. And you know what? I think it sounded like a brilliant idea. But there was a twist though. There were no media guests there except cosplayers. So this time around, I'm only showing off the cosplayer pictures. Now, um, there may be a time where I may need to look away from my screen because normally I'll be transferring them from my PC, but I'm just gonna look on my iPad screen for a few seconds so I can like tell you them in ascending order. And whilst I edit the video and get it posted on YouTube, I can always like um, add them together, of which they'll already be added on because this video is already on YouTube anyway. So, kicking off with the cosplayers right here, we got um, quite a lot of them actually. Most of them are vaguely unknown. First off, I got um, one that has like a the devil's pitchfork on there and some bunny ears. Um, 
To be honest, I don't know what franchise they're from, but still, they look pretty dope to me. They're pretty dapper to me when it comes to cosplay. Also, we had a couple of um, cosplayers right there, but my only issue is I don't like having my picture taken with my face mask on, so I had to lift it down so I can at least see myself in full glory. Potentially. Anyway, next one right here, we have a black and white half-haired um, cosplayer right there, which looked pretty good in my perspective. As you can see here, I have a naruto style um, t-shirt on because it would fall in the correct kind of context right there. Um, next off, we have two other cosplayers, um, of which I may not be able to um, dictate, but I know that their style looks so good as always. And as I said before, I've said this a couple times, regardless of what, if I know them or not from any universe, they look so good when it comes to their looks, when it comes to cosplay. This next one I'll definitely know. This next one um, is a female adaption of Naruto Uzumaki from the Naruto Shippuden and or Naruto anime series. One that is easy to remember and hard to forget. Legit. Anyway, next one... Um, may not know what that cosplayer is, but it certainly does look good. Do, ex do excuse the uh, time and date they were captured on the bottom left-hand corner of the screen of each photo. I just couldn't get rid of that metadata from that camera until one week before the next convention, which I'll explain after this set of photos. The next cosplay photo right there. Real good looks on that one with those um, bat wings on the head and the pink hair. <laughs> I must say, not gonna lie, legit awesome. Uh, next one we have, yeah, we do love a good, we do love a good um, multicolored hair cosplayer right there. Um, can't go wrong with that, if only somehow you know. <laughs> and the next one we've got right there, make no mistake, there's uh, that's not just a cos, not not any cosplayer, no, but it's the um, violinist performer Lucia La Reza. That's right, she was performing on st on stage, and at one point she was performing the song They're Taking the Hobbits to Isengard on stage. That had me singing, seriously. I wish I had video footage of that, but I don't, unfortunately. Next off, we have a blue-haired cosplayer right there. Um, may take me a while to know them, but I'll have some serious research on the character and franchise, and maybe, um, you know, in the future I might grab the idea of what the cosplayer might be. And this next one right here, we have an um, amazing cosplayer who is dressed as a witch. Now, for this one, as you can see here, this section coloured in green, that was a credit card. If I was to post this on social media, the credit card needed to be censored so that we couldn't, um, so that nobody could steal anyone's uh, details and we wouldn't want anybody ransacked at the end of the day. No. But there's, there we are, next cosplayer, uh, cosplayer right there. I tried to get them in McDonald's, but I couldn't quite get there because obviously it was a bit difficult in a busy state like that. So I had to go back to my iPad temporarily to get a picture of that because um, I'd have more of an opportunity if I did it in the Adelphi Hotel when I went back there again. And then we have two amazing cosplayers right there. You may follow them on Instagram, though um, I might take a look on the next one because there's a couple more spoiler alert, uh, spoiler alert that I might recognize from a previous convention as well in number seven, which will show off in a few minutes. The next few right here, we got a couple more anime um, cosplays right there, which I may not identify, but I may get to know them eventually if I see them again. And um, yeah, one of the two of them which look amazing, but. Um, I wish I knew it, but I'll try and memorize that for a future future idea. And we have one right here that has an Anime League face mask. Ooh, fair play. S um, supporting the Anime League by attending the convention. And that must, I must say that is one amazing cosplay, though. And we have the next few cosplay pictures right here with some I am, yeah. May not know who they are, but they look certainly good cosplayers. Sorry, I just had a lot going on. It's so much fun when you're producing a video and um, getting something done within a certain day. And we have a cosplayer right there. They also complimented my voice, of which they never ever done before, seriously. Um, that was just seriously a great compliment, but I, that touched me quite a lot. Yeah. So anyway, next one, next cosplayer. Looking pretty good, that, but, um, how am I supposed to know that one? Obviously, I gotta watch more anime. But like I said, I no longer react to anime because I obviously retired from it. 
next cosplayer now um, we've got uh, this one right there looking pretty good all in the band band days but then again it's a cosplay set <laughs> if this is free I don't know if I can say any more on that and another cosplay right there kind of wish I knew that one but it's been a year nearly a year since the last went to the Adelphi, Adelphi Hotel and that with that many people there because things are getting back together after the coronavirus outbreak and then we got one more cosplay right here two this time on the train station on the way back from Liverpool and that was um, the Adelphi Hotel on the 17th of July 2021 Chapter 7 after my enjoyment of the Adelphi Hotel back in July 2021, I returned there again on the 16th of October 2021 in the same area of Liverpool Anime and Gaming Con. It was being held twice that year because of the COVID-19 pandemic which had been ongoing for quite some time. So, um, on to the cosplayers again. As I said before, there are no media guests except cosplayers, so I'll we'll jump straight into it. As you can see, I look completely different compared to my first six comp cons I went to. As you can see, I got rid of my moustache as of October 2021 because I wanted to try something of which I'll show you later. So, first cosplayer right here, we've got someone with, um, with, I think, um, pandas and, you know, on their, on their, you know, like, pigtail things. But, uh, that looks pretty good, but I'm not sure what cosplay that is, but, um, it always looks so good. As I said before, regardless of, what, of whether I know it or not from any franchise or universe in Comic-Con, it still looks good on them. Next one I got there was one of an Adventure Time character, apparently. And um, I think it was... Oh, I've not watched Adventure Time very much, so how should I know? Probably some of you... Let me know in the comments below if you know who that is in the pink hair and the crown and the sword and the red cloak because you might know more of Adventure Time more than me anyway. So this next one right here I'll definitely know, make no mistake, one of them on my right hand side was Cinderella again and another cosplay right there which I probably I may not know, not know of. But um, they still, the cosplay still looks good in my perspective anyhow. Next one we got two Marvel cosplayers I may not know the cosplay name of but I mean the character because obviously it must be from the universe I may never have heard of in my life but it still looks it still looks good and here we are another cosplayer right here with a minecraft sword that they've got in their hand <laughs> there's a reason it's called anime and gaming con because it's anime and gaming only they like play video games in there um, sometimes if they want to like you know have a blast in the anime con and just talk anime and stuff like that and they even have special screenings there as well um, I got two more cosplayers out outside the Adelphi Hotel. That was when I was taking a stroll through Liverpool. Sometimes I like to do that. That'll help distract me a little bit because um, it's how I roll when it comes to Comic Con people. Um, next cosplayer right here. Ooh, with black bunny ears on the top of their, um, their head looks good. But sadly, I may not know the name of it. I may not know the character. But I'll keep looking over time if I feel it, and then I'll know for myself. Or alternatively, you can let me know in the comments below. And for other cosplayers you've seen earlier, as opposed to their character name and stuff like that, if I don't know them. We got uh, two more cosplayers. One from I think from the likes of uh, Five Nights at Freddy's. Don't mind, don't don't mind me if I'm wrong. But mind me if I'm wrong. But still, it's just a guess anyway. <laughs> Just because you don't know most of them doesn't mean you can't have a guess, am I right? So, yeah. Anyway, next cosplayer here, right here. Woo! I'm guessing that's like an anime-styled one. Looking pretty good, Bat. As I always say myself. Besides, regardless of what, they, what, what character it is, if I know them or not, still looks good. Don't know how many times I keep saying that, but still, it's how I roll. Next cosplayer right there. Real good, that. Um, especially with a... Um, if I only knew the character. Sorry, I'm just, uh, you know, trying to get back into my um, roots after recovering for nearly a week with COVID and stuff like that. Please do mind me, don't mind me. Oh, and we got a lovely princess right here. And I know the name too, and it goes by the name Chloe, I believe. Yeah, um, I'll have you know that she won the cosplay championship in Comic-Con Liverpool as of um, which of the next one be. But I haven't got that one, though, sad, uh, in front of the Comic Con, but in Liverpool. But I thought that this one, I'd get that one anyway, because um, you can't go wrong with that, can't you? 
And we have um, three cosplayers right there. One with the um, same panda, um, you know. And um, they the same, but a different cosplayer though. And one with bunny ears on there, there as well. Can't think of the other one. The other one behind me though. Two other cosplayers, a Vocaloid, I think that must be a Pokemon-like one, and one from, I think, oh, well, I need to try and think about one more anyway. But anyway, um, let's go on to the next cosplayer. Right here, we can see, I believe, that's Little Mermaid's Ariel in the um, yellow dress. And that was one that I recognised from the previous convention, I believe. I could take a look back, uh, you could, uh, I could take a look back in the, um, back in time later on, and then try and recap myself over time, because even though I'm very good at my memory, I'm pretty bad at um, trying to remember certain things when it comes to um, certain parts of the past. And again, here we are, the next couple cosplayers. A couple that I know from the previous convention as well. One of them is holding a Death Note book. Um, I've only seen one episode of Death Note, but I think I might want to get back to it. But as I said, no reactions on the internet because I've, I'm a retired anime reactor anyway. Uh, next one we have here... Um, mm, I pretty sure someone told me about that one, but um, I kind of forgot the um, character. But again, it still looks real good, that man. And we have another cosplayer right here with the good with good looks. Um, yeah, with the bow and the uh, white hair, absolutely stunning, I tell ya. Um, another cosplayer right here, um, as you know. Um, yeah, um, <laughs> if I knew it. With all good looks, as you all know, and a lot of you good folks might know that if you're watching this video, with all those good looks on cosplayers. And we have another cosplayer right here, looking real good, as per usual. And we have somewhat of a gothic cosplayer right there, uh, which is pretty impressive in my perspective, man. Yeah, that's right. Um, and we also have a schoolgirl anime um, cosplayer right there, red and white hair in half. Looking pretty good, that, as you all know, yeah? And, whoa! I think I recognize that cosplay look. One of the teeth on the, um, and as part of the cosplay, um, what you call it thing. Yeah, that's how we do it. And we have one with the blue hair. As always, looking so good, man. I mean, you can't go wrong with what, with, with your looks, can't you? And we have another cosplay right there. Oh, and another one holding a Minecraft sword as well. As I said, there's a reason it's called Liverpool Anime and Gaming Con, right? Right? Yeah, you get the picture. And uh, we have one with the... Um, oh my god, I think that might be one. The Naruto looks one. If I'm wrong, let me know. But still, I'm guessing it's a very good guess from me. And we've another cosplay right there. Of us again, looking so good. If I can only know the name of a character. Let me know in the comments below what character they are, as you know. I mean, it's the point where you can, like, um, try to test me a bit. And finally, we have one with the pink hair and the cat ears. And here we are. That's all the cosplays for Liverpool Anime and Gaming Con of October 2021. Chapter 8. Almost a month after coming back to the Adelphi Hotel, I came back to the Exhibition Centre in Liverpool, 13th November 2021, in Comic Con Liverpool. That's right, my third visit to the Liverpool Exhibition Centre for a certain Comic Con like that. But unfortunately that day, I did not feel very motivated that day because there were two guests I was hoping to meet, Peyton List and Patrick Warburton, but they both cancelled their appearances. Peyton List and her Cobra Kai crew had to cancel because they had filming commitments for Season 5 of Cobra Kai, and that got me very much bummed. Also, Patrick Warburton's uh, cancellation was unknown, but with Covid, travels can be very situational, so therefore I had no photo ops to get from any of them, sadly. Uh. Yes, we get it, crowd. However, this did give me a chance to revisit a guest for the very first time. So, as you can see here, I revisited Steve Cardenas from the Comic Con Liverpool of 2019. This time I got his autograph because I knew that was missing from my uh, collection. I also got a very exclusive power coin, which was a collector's item. I won't show that off because I haven't got a picture of it, but I will show it off in the near future, I promise you. Now, onto the cosplay pictures. Um, as you can see right here, I went for a bit of a twist in my cosplay. For the first time, I went for a female-to-male cosplay experiment, so I went as Meg from Family Guy. 
Um, I was originally going to do that because I was going to be Patrick Warburton, but he cancelled. But despite that, I decided to carry out that anyway. But my issue was, the wig was pretty difficult to get on because um, I never handled anything like that before. But anyway, onto the cosplayers now, as you can still see here. The first one right here, you've got um, Merida from Pixar's Brave. Finally something that I know. But um, we're getting to the ones I might know now because obviously when I was doing the uh, cosplay pictures, addressing them in the previous conventions, my head was kind of hurting trying to uh, remember them all because there's been a lot of people that went to those Comic Cons, yes. Uh, next one right here, we have, um, I think it's a Poison Ivy cosplay, but I'm not too sure, but um, yeah, that's what I can make out from um, on that one. And the one on my left is presumably unknown. Uh, next up, we have um, Princess Daisy from the Mario Tennis. As you can see, they're holding a um, tennis racket, which can pretty much resemble the uh, <coughs> Mario Tennis franchise. And finally, for the Liverpool Comic Con um, cosplays of the year, it's we got the Harley Quinn from the Suicide Squad again. I seem to be running to, uh, into them a lot, but you know, it's again how I roll. And that was um, Comic Con Liverpool of 2021. Not my best one, but hopefully in this year's coming up, I might try and get so much more. I'll explain more of that at the end of the video. Anyway, next chapter, please. Chapter 9! There we go, finally my um, trip to Telford was finally carried out on the 20th of November 2021, one week after Comic Con Liverpool. That's right, the new home of Wales Comic Con, which was initially in Wrexham, but it should move to Telford in December 2019, like I said earlier on in this video. And I must say, it must have been pretty better than the um, last convention I went to, which was um, the previous weeks, because I had a couple guests to meet. So, we'll get to the um, guests now, and then followed by the cosplayers. So, in ascending order again, to make up for not meeting any guests in um, Liverpool in the previous week, I got to meet the, meet the voice of Bender, John DiMaggio. That's right, I got his autograph only, so I don't consume much money, and uh, yeah. Here's what he had to write on my autograph, as you can see here. Wipe my shiny metal ass. Yes, that was one of Bender's most famous catchphrases in the show. Did you know that um, the show's going to be returning in 2023? Yeah, it's true. Um, I read an article about it on the internet some time ago. So that was Bender's autograph. Now moving on to more guests as we speak. As you can see here, I brought back my Matt Smith outfit from the London Comic Con of 2019 because I'll be meeting more Doctor Who guests. So, the first one I met in that one was the 8th Doctor Paul McGann, who only starred in the 1996 Doctor Who film, and he also starred in The Night of the Doctor, which was a BBC One short that aired before The Day of the Doctor in 2013. That was a bit of a preview to what was to come on that certain 50th anniversary special back then. Followed by Peter Davison, who played the um, Fifth Doctor from 1981 to 1984. Wow, that's right. Um, so, um, as you can see here, for those two um, photos, and another one will be coming up soon, um, I brought, also brought back the Sonic Screwdriver. Here's some interesting trivia for you. Originally it was battery powered, but then the battery on it sadly died after um, about the London Con, because um, I um, had it working for quite some time, but oh well. What you see is what you get. If it happens, it happens, like I always say. And then, um, for the final guest of the convention I met was Billy Piper, who was the uh, Ninth Doctor's and Tenth Doctor's companion. She played Rose Tyler in Doctor Who, yes. Oh, and she was also a singer in the 90s as well, some of you may know, those who were born in the 1990s, like me. Um, also, as for the photo op, I had to put up with social distancing for that one due to the guest's request, but, um, you know, I just had to live with it. Oh well, we'll see what other conventions bring for us in the near future, yes? Pretty sure it'll be more fantastic than that. Anyway, now on to the cosplayers, as we um, now see. We're going back into old style again, as I get more cosplay pictures as before. So, um, the first one right here, as you can see, we got a Jodie Whittaker cosplayer, and the cosplayer I know on Instagram, Bexter Cosplay Girl. That's right, that's the one I, uh, another cosplayer I know. Finally, um, something that won't have my head hurting because now we're getting to the more common ones of which I know now. Um, followed next by my third encounter with Lil Bo Cosplays as the um, unicorn again from my, from the second convention that I uh, went to overall in 2018, might you know. 
you'll see a lot more of certain cosplayers I'll know for the remainder of this video, hopefully. But we'll see what happens. And the next cosplayer right here is the Velma cosplayer. That's right, from the Scooby-Doo franchise. Velma cosplayer is the name of the Instagram uh, user, of which I follow as well. The next cosplayer right here, well, I'm, I'm sure that might count as cosplay, but they've cosplayed as the TARDIS, apparently, as you can see there. But I must say, it's pretty good enough for a TARDIS-looking cosplay myself. Next one, um... That one I might not be able to dictate, but again, it looks really good. Try not to make my head hurt too much, just like, um... Cons 6 and 7 while trying to memorize all those cosplayers. And, um... The next one here, another one I'll know quite easily, we have ourselves, I think, a Wanda from the WandaVision series. I've not seen WandaVision, but I'd like to someday, just as long as I give myself some time and stuff like that. Uh, more cosplayers on the run now. We've got um, one dressed as a devil, I believe, but I have no idea what franchise that is. Again, it looks um, pretty good to me. Next up, we have um, another Jodie Whittaker cosplayer, but with a twist, they're wearing a fez. Since when did Jodie Whittaker wear a fez? Oh, I get it. They're probably doing like a bit of a mashup with one doctor after another. Mashup between 11 and 13, might I say. Now, this next one, this is no cosplay, but um, uh, they asked if I could have a picture with, th th picture with them, but hey, I accepted. After all, it's someone, uh, also someone I know from uh, Instagram. Elise Bailey goes by the name of, um, as you may know, yes. Um, and the next one right here, we have um, another wonder, which is also a cosplayer I know called Katie. Yeah, that's um, another cosplayer that I most definitely know, following my um, epic adventure in Telford the very first time. This was taken up the night outside of um, the Telford train station, and the next two will be in another train station, just so you know. Though I was on my way back from Telford anyway. Next one, we have Princess Zelda from uh, the Legend of Zelda game franchise right there. This was taken in the um, Shrewsbury train station alongside the uh, next one, which I'll explain right now. Now, this next cosplay I may not know, but again, this is taken from the Shrewsbury train station. Um, before I get you on to the next chapter, I just want to say, I did another Mega Marathon again and run down to meeting Peter Davison, Paul McGann, and Billy Piper. Uh, this time around, I have watched around 56 Doctor Who episodes in rundown to meeting those three guests. So yeah, that's basically it for the um, Chapter 9 of um, my Comic-Con Inside Story. Uh, that was the Telford Comic-Con of the 20th of November 2021. Let's get on to the next one. And here we are on my most recent Comic-Con, 2nd of April 2022 in Wales Comic-Con Telford Takeover, which is also my 10th Comic-Con. And this will also mark the 10th and final chapter of this story so far. But as I said, there's going to be more Comic-Cons I'm going to be attending in the future, so keep your eyes out. I'll explain more at the very end of this, of this video, but right now, we're going to talk about on the cosplayers and the guests that I've met as up there. So, <clears throat> kicking off as per usual, for the guests, first when I went in the um, Comic Con itself, I met David Tennant, the 10th Doctor, who is the Doctor from 2005 up to 2010. And as you can see, I did cosplay again, but this time around, I went as the 10th Doctor, because obviously, I was meeting David Tennant in the day anyway. It was one of the most legendary moments of um, Comic Con history, but there'll be more to come as I explain momentarily. Also, I met the likes of Paul McGann again from the previous convention, that was the previous Telford Comic Con that I went to in 2021, which was last year, but this time around I got his autograph from there, because that too was missing from my collection as well. And then also I revisited Sylvester McCoy as well from the 2019 London Comic Con I went to. Again, I got his autograph, because that too was missing from my collection. I thought, um, uh, for some point, I'd revisit certain guests I didn't get their autographs and or photo ops from, so I might have to do that over time if I check Facebook momentarily, as I always do. And then for the fourth and final guest I met for the um, Telford Comic Con itself, I met the likes of Catherine Tate, who played Donna Noble in Doctor Who. She also had a show, her own show apparently, um, the Catherine Tate Show, but primarily I thought I'd do that for um, Doctor Who wise. Yes, she played Donna Noble, who was the 10th Doctor's companion from Series 4 and also the 2006 Christmas special, The Runaway Bride. And now, onto the cosplayers now, as um, 
and explain who I saw in cosplay wise. Now this may get very interesting, so get ready. The first one I saw was a cosplayer who did Vanellope von Schweetz from uh, Wreck-It Ralph. Yeah, it's a great film that. I've not seen that in so many years, but I really want to see it again at some point because obviously I'm trying to binge watch a couple films I wanted to look at for, uh, for uh, after a couple of years. Next off we have a um, cosplay who has those little flowers on the headband, but that looks pretty good. If only I knew the name of the character. But as I say, let me know in the comments below on what character that is because I obviously need a lot to learn from that. And then um, the next one that's also on this page, we've got my fourth encounter with Lil Bo's cosplayers once again as the Unicorn, as you may know, because um, I ran into her quite a lot and I hope to continue to run into a lot of cosplayers I'm all so familiar with through my years of going to Comic Con and stuff like that. And we also ran into a cosplayer of Beauty and the Beast's Belle. Yes, that's right. Um, the one from Once Upon a Time, I believe. That's also um, a Beauty and the Beast cosplay too. And the name of that cosplayer on Instagram is known by Gemsus. So I also followed her as on the spot, which is also a very fantastic ordeal in my perspective. Next up, we have another Wanda cosplayer as well. Um, I do have the Instagram name, but um, I've got it um, elsewhere, so I think I'll go ahead and follow her on the spot later on. Yeah, I've got the um, advertisement somewhere in my other place, so I'll do that later. Followed by another David Tennant cosplayer, and we've also got somewhat of a witch on the um, on this um, on, on this cosplay set too, because um, you know. Go for it, why not, if they look so good? I know that the 10th Doctor cosplayer was a Doctor Who cosplay. I'm not sure where the witch is from, though. Let me know who it, in the comments below what it is, because um, I obviously need to know for myself. Also, we've got another Jodie Whittaker cosplayer who had a, another 13th Doctor um, paparazzi biz with me, because um, obviously I do love a good Jodie Whittaker cosplayer as well. Also, we got another cosplayer right here who cosplayed as Alice from Alice in Wonderland. And I certainly know the name of the cosplayer anyway. So she does art as a matter of fact. Um, and that name is Magic Miss Potter Creations. That's right, she does art. Over this was like um, like one of the times I've seen her do cosplay, but yeah, nah, what you see is what you get. Also, another thing, now this is a very special guest appearance in my perspective, we have Isabel from Animal Crossing, and dare I say it, it's also a YouTuber I know from the likes of Amber the Fangirl. Yes, that's right. That was the first ever time I met a YouTuber in real life. Oh my god, that is... I found this like one of the most tremendous moments of my life, as in like, amazingly, it was an absolute um, joyous moment to meet each other that very day. Anyway, um, and the last cosplayer photo for this story, I took this one on the train back from uh, Telford to uh, Wrexham with uh, one of the Pokemon badge and, um, but I don't know the um, cosplay though, but I do know the cosplayer name that I followed on Instagram. It goes by the name by Kai Gill. That's right, but on that day I unfortunately sustained a bit of a crack on the lens on my Ocaso, so that is that will be out of bounds for a while. But I will be using the OMSO action camera as a temporary replacement because my parents are letting me use it until um, I get a new one. So that was the Wales Comic Con Telford Takeover, which was my 10th Comic Con overall. That was my inside history with my Comic Cons I attended in the past three years, from 2018 up to now. Those, those 10 Comic Cons were the pride of my life, especially meeting new people and celebrity guests, but I've got more to tell you. Just before I leave, um, I just want to let you know that I've got a couple more coming up. We've got, I've got Comic Con Liverpool coming up on the 21st of May 2022, and I'll be meeting the likes of Peyton List from Cobra Kai, the one I was supposed to be meeting in the um, Liverpool Comic Con as of last November, and now... Um, I'm really looking forward to that, you know. I might actually consider making a vlog out of that. But who knows? I might actually um, make something out of that. Um, I might also consider going back to the Adelphi Hotel again in um, October for another 
Anime and Gaming Con, which is happening in the same place at that day. Um, also, I've been recommended by someone on Instagram that I might take a look at the MCM Birmingham Comic Con in November. But um, it's a lot of thinking about to do, and uh, hopefully in um, November I might consider going to the Liverpool Comic Con again, but who knows who might get announced there. I might have to look on Facebook overtime for some more announcements. And most recently announced from the 3rd and the 4th of December this year, just in time for Christmas, that Telford Comic Con will be coming back again. Wales Comic Con Takeover in the same place. Um, I might um, do that at Dorvos again at some point. But anyway, um, that ends this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe if you want some more cool content for this channel. And also, as I say, for those who couldn't remember the, com the um, cosplays, let me know in the comments below the names of the characters that I couldn't quite get in some of those photos I could see. But anyway, um, that's all for this video. Thank you all for watching once again, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye, people.